In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the WP Bakery page builder tabs, all the different options that go into them, how to style them, how to change how they look, how to add elements into the tabs themselves. And this is part of the WP Bakery page builder playlist. You can get to that through a link in the description down below or possibly in the card above. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet and you like WordPress tutorials and tips and tricks, click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, if you like deals, check out the half off hosting deal I negotiated for you with InMotion Hosting. Nearly every plan is half off, some are less, but every plan has a discount that you could use for yourself or for your clients or whatever. Feel free to go check that out in the link down below or the card that popped up. And with that out of the way, let's head to this tutorial. The first thing we want to do is create a page where we're using WP Bakery Page Builder, or you might have a page already that you want to add tabs to. Either way, got to open a page. I'm going to create a new one by going to Pages and then Add New. I'm going to call this Tabs Testing. Then I'll Save Draft. I will head out to the front end editor. The tabs testing text has been added to its own row. We can add to that row by clicking the little orange plus or create a new row by clicking the gray one. I'm just gonna click on the gray one to add a new row to add the tabs into. And they're gonna pop right in here. There's two pre-built ones. You can click on the tabs and have the actual functionality as you would on the site right in the builder, which is pretty neat. Now to customize these tabs, there's a lot of different places where you can set things. There's the row the column. If you hover over this area, we have the tabs and the section. So there's a lot of places to do customizations. First thing you might want to do is change the name from tab one and tab two to something else. To do that, click on one of the two tabs, open the section area. If you don't see it open, click on this little arrow that will open it Then click on the pencil. And here we can change the name to soccer. Add an icon if you want. I like to do that because it's very nice to have an icon on there. You can choose to put it before or after the title. You can choose which library to take it from. If you want a complete tutorial on icon libraries, there's another one in this playlist for that. You can choose an icon, see if they have a soccer ball. That would be ideal. And they do. I'm going to choose the soccer ball. Click Save Changes. To update tab 2, click on it. Click on the pencil under Section and do the exact same thing. Let's call this football. Let's add an icon. And yes, for some of you, soccer and football are the same thing, but in North America, they are not. So we have two different things. Is that a football? Looks like a lemon. That's as close as Font Awesome has to a football, so we'll put the lemon in there. Looks pretty close. So now we have two tab titles set up. Now we want to put content inside of the tabs when they're opened. To do that, click on one of the tabs, click on this plus icon. And any of the elements that we could add to a regular row, we can add inside of a tab. I'm just going to add a very simple text block. You can customize this section as much as you want. There's a lot of other tutorials in this playlist that show you exactly how to customize pretty much every popular element in the WP Bakery page builder. So I'm not going to go over specifics on how to style the text and all that stuff because that's in a different tutorial. We're just showing you how to use the tabs. So under the football tab, I'm going to add a single image. I'm going to take it from the media library. Dave here looks like a football player. I'm going to put him in there. For the image size, I'm going to set it to medium. I'm going to add a caption. The caption is pulled from the image. So if we go back into the uh, captions pulled from here, so I should add something there. Let's just say Dave the football player question mark and then set that image. I'm going to put the image into the center for the style. I'm going to add a 3D shadow on click action. I'm not going to do anything, but you could have it do one of these options. Again, another video in this playlist shows this stuff in detail. I'm not going to animate it, not going to add extra classes, just going to save changes to add the content to here. And now we have two tabs, soccer tab, football tab. Now that we have our two tabs in place, very importantly, 
you now have to save this page, save the draft, or publish it, or update a published post, because the work you've done here is just in the browser. It's not actually live on the page. So make sure you save it whenever you've done your work. If you want your tabs to be in a smaller section, go to Row, change the size of the row to whatever size you want. Pick one third, one third, one third. That will update live on the page here. Now we have our tabs in here. And as you can see, the, the stack tab doesn't look very good. So maybe we want to stick to one and a half for that tab style. Oh, sorry, just a half. And then you can also drag and drop it in a different area. So if you want these tabs moved over to here, just drag and drop them over. Oops, let me just move the image. My bad. Let's go up here. Here, finally found it. There, the tab. We can move them to anywhere we want, really. And again, make sure you save your changes, otherwise they won't actually be saved, and all the work you did will be wasted. As you may or may not know, WP Bakery Page Builder is a paid for plugin that you buy from Code Canyon. You may have received it built into a theme, so you may already own it. If that's the case, I have a course that you might be interested in. It is a complete WP Baker Page Builder course that shows you how to use all the elements and create awesome pages with it. I can give that to you at a steep discount because you already have this plugin. Just email me at bjorn at wplearninglab.com and let me know and I'll send out a coupon code to you. If you do not have this plugin yet, but you want that course, if you buy the plugin through my affiliate link, which is in the description down below, you can have the course for free. And buying it through that link does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Invato and WP Bakery, they give me a portion of their sale. So it's no extra cost to you. They just give me a portion of their sale. And in return for doing that, I will give you the course for free. All you have to do is click on the link in the description down below. Make sure you open it in incognito mode or in a different browser or after you clear your cash and cookies. Otherwise, my account may not be credited. And then I, I can't tell if you bought it or not. Uh, but... When you do buy it, you will get a receipt. Forward that receipt to me at bjorn at wplearninglab.com. And then I'll cross-reference your receipt with what is listed as referrals on my account, what's been credited to me as referrals. And if they match up, I will send you free access to that course that you can begin accessing immediately. That's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below and possibly in the card that popped up if I had any remaining cards. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.